Hello everyone, my name is Gus. Hi, I'm Woody. And today, believe it or not, we're reacting to Chernobyl Part 2. Oh. Wow. I, I gotta get ready for this. This is, this is, this is ridiculous. Okay, so one of the things, I think the one of the biggest feedbacks that we got after we did the first Chernobyl video was people pleading with us to please send them some legit scuba gear. Because if you remember, what they did is they put a fishbowl in their head, they had like a hand pump or something, and they were feeding the Zeus, they were feeding him some air, and he almost died. Well, we said absolutely not. Giving these guys scuba gear would be suicide. Like, it will be killing them. They, they will go down there with no training and they will die. So absolutely no, we're not doing it. Even if it's donated to us, we'll rather throw it in the garbage than to send it to these guys. So they went and bought it <laughs> themselves. And things went exactly how you expect that they would go. Now, I'm going to say it already. I'm going to spoil it already. They split this video in multiple parts. So we're reacting to... I guess part one of part two of Chernobyl. So there's this is just part of the series. Whenever they release another one, we'll react to the next one and so on. We'll we'll try to react to every single one of them. Uh, it's it. Let's just do it. it there's no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already laughing. There is, there is nothing to say, guys. We decided to buy scuba gear. Especially to dive and explore the flooded <laughs> reactor rooms <laughs> under the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. That's... Exactly in the place where they dived in the movie Chernobyl. We arrived at the water sports center. We need oxygen. How do you like that? Cool. Have you seen that it's made to fit the teeth? Vlad bites them off. I can't fill this balloon because there is a different connection. So it's just the Wild West. Use there. electrical tape. Is this where we're going to pump oxygen with this compressor? Yes. <laughs> cool. Hot it's oxygen. huge. <laughs> and you wanted to pump air with your what mouth. I cannot do it. It turned out that we bought two old Aqualon. What are we to do now? And the instructor offered to rent a professional scuba. There are about 150 Why? atmospheres in the balloon now. Here is the regulator. Black is the main, and yellow is the spare. That's this their, hose this is, their is their connected lesson. to the vest on which there is a remote control, manometer, and depth gauge. Do you think that... That was that's the instructor! It? That was the instructor! Wait, wait, wait. So that's what I was going to react to. So first of all... <laughs> You, everybody knows this, right? Non-divers out there, you can't get scuba gear and get a fill unless you're certified. That's right. But they are the guys like, here's your five-minute lesson. Yeah. Here's a compressor. I don't even know what that thing is. <laughs> and uh, by the way, they kept calling it oxygen, but obviously it's air. But right. I mean, it's just the Wild West. Let's keep playing it. I mean, no, but I love the tanks they bought. They're like the guy's like he has a compressor that is like a hundred years old. And the guy's like, no, no, your gear is too old. <laughs> what? Gosh. Where did they get that? Oh, my God. This is just this is cool equipment. This is serious equipment. Not like we had. This is not even semi-professional equipment, but professional. Oh, With yeah. this, we will dive under a nuclear reactor. Hush. I think he heard us. <laughs> what if he sees our video? Well, guys, we got to this fifth power unit of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. It was not easy because we were carrying a heavy tank with us. A 63 tank. By the way, um, I just want to mention because we did get this comment a lot. It's like, you guys are idiots. These guys are nowhere near Chernobyl. This is some random factory in Ukraine. Chernobyl is in Ukraine. These guys are Ukrainians. And, you know, we made a mistake on the last ones called these guys Russians. Ukrainians are definitely not Russians. Um, but this is Pripyat, the, the, the village where the Chernobyl accident happened. And they are on the reactor number five building. The one that blew up is reactor number four. If you watch some of their other videos, you can see there, there's, there's this sarcoph like you can, th there's no way to fake it. There's no Photoshop. These guys are legit over there. They're, they're nuts. They're not faking that part. So let's just put it out there. And you can watch some of their videos uh, if you don't believe us. And we also took such a professional small power plant. 
Let's make warm tea. And also with a hairdryer, we will warm up the swimming suit. Which one of us will dive? Well, I guess I. This equipment probably costs about $15,000. <laughs> Look, we have professional equipment. This is serious. You do realize it's very dangerous. There is radiation. I was hoping you were joking. Now this is no longer a joke. Science matters the most. Therefore, today we will find out what is under the reactor. If you drown, can I take your channel? Yes. Split in half with the wolf. Wow. Great. I wanted to create my own channel, but if something happens, we'll split it in half. But I'll be rooting for you to swim. Of course. Or not. <laughs> Zero chance that I would do this. I don't know if I needed to tell everybody that, but I mean, they're actually oh having it, what what to me is amazing is they're having like a legitimate, serious conversation Imagine I'm talking to you like, okay, Gus, yeah. you know, we're, we're going to go scuba diving in a very radioactive place. Whether the water absorbs the radioactivity yeah. or not, I know we're going to get... Yeah, yeah. Like, and they're serious. Like, we're okay with that. It's... I just... How are they okay with that? Hey, which one of us is diving? That that was the other question. But, like, who's doing it? I guess I'll do it. <laughs> like, what? And, and by the way... Let's bring a hair dryer to stay a little like that's the biggest worry they got. Like we'll stay a little warmer with a power thing and a hair dryer. Like the nothing first, else to do, nothing like, else to worry about, but we'll stay warmer. Like the first video, it only gets worse. All right. <laughs> well, guys, we need to go inside because here they can see us. Here is our entrance. This place should be familiar to you. If you watch video number one, you'll see some of the same. I have a bad feeling. Why? Are you afraid of radiation? The last time I dived, seven years ago, in the Crimea in the clear sea. Damn. Firstly, it's dirty here. Secondly, there's radiation. And thirdly, there's a dungeon. And indoor diving is the most dangerous. Well, we'll try anyway. What do you think about it? I hope everything will be okay. In any case, we have everything for safety. We have ropes, bellies, so we will be fine. Huh? I hope. <laughs> From radiation? Guys, we don't just want to dive into this tunnel, but we want to explore the passage to the fourth power unit. Have we been here? Yes, we have already seen it. There must be water down there. We By the way, I want to mention this again for some of the comments we got on the first one. People are like, the water, uh, we had a lot, I didn't know, a lot of nuclear scientists watch our channel, so that, <laughs> that's cool. Um, we had... We had a lot of comments about how the water is not radioactive, but the dust around them is radioactive. So I'm sure they'll pay attention and not dust the place up. Hey, it's Chernobyl. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe there is. Maybe there isn't. <laughs> I mean, the place is like closed for the next hundred thousand years. So there's a problem. This is close. Our entrance is right under the reactor. What is our main goal today? First, we want to explore these dungeons because there was no one there. These floors have been flooded since the accident. Secondly, we want to find a tunnel that leads to the fourth power unit, which we saw in the blueprints. There is another theory that there is a bunker under the nuclear power plant. We'll find out soon, I hope. Guys, it's really scary here at night. Vlad, the first difficulty, can you dive here? Is it ice? Look, the ice is very thick. Do not fall. Look how thick the ice is. About six inches. Are you ready to dive under the ice? They're adding the ice time diving? The I can spend under the ice is reduced by a factor of three. Radioactive ice diving <laughs> is a new certification. Oh, my God. Radioactive ice diving. Yes. Okay. I, I don't know what else to say. Uh. Actually, it's a very scary idea to dive here. Just look yeah. at the metal sticking out under the ice. It yeah. will also be there. If you get caught and break the hose, it will be terrible. You think? Without ice, you could just float up and breathe. But now it's impossible. In this case, we have a spare tube. This is not reliable. It will break. This is serious professional equipment. You're lying. You bought this at a flea market. <laughs> this is cool equipment. Guys, move on. We have a lot to do. If the stairs were stolen, we wouldn't be able to get in. Look at that crane. Everything looks different in winter. There are traces of hairs. Or maybe it's not a hare, maybe it's a fox. Look, stalkers are climbing into the nuclear reactor in Chernobyl. Have you seen this somewhere? It's hard to climb with a balloon. Why did you take water? They keep calling it a tank of balloon. Up. I don't know why. He came to Chernobyl to wash himself. I dream of washing in the reactor. These things weren't there last time. Marauders continue to steal metal. Probably after our videos, someone came here. And I... here too. 
This was not here before. Look, someone cut the metal out of the wires. Guys, just look how deep it is. Remember they walked over this the last video? Don't joke, it could be dangerous. Fine. It's high up here, and there's a pile of scrap metal underneath. What are you doing? It's scary here. Just look at this atmosphere. Look dangerous. how many floors there are. Let's go. Oh, take the single one. Oh, my God. Sasha, be careful. I am doing my best. Wolf, do you think everything will be fine? Certainly. Us here. See what we showed last time is now stolen. They continue to dismantle the mechanisms. It still works. He's touching everything. Look, what's here? Where? This is a safety net. It's from radiation. Wonder what this is for. Look, what is this? Yes, look, the battery is discharged. Is there a battery? There is a sign of a discharged and charged battery. Here is an arrow. Is the battery charged now? Dust is flying everywhere. And what's there? Look at the stairs down here. I, I mean, am I right to ask all the things they're touching and dust flying everywhere is what all the comments were saying is the problem with the massive radiation exposure that they could be getting. Well, is yeah. that true or not? I, I, I think so. A lot of the comments said that like the water is not, but the, the dust is the problem. And then there's some other people that says none of that stuff. That's all made up. It reminds people me of there. round stairs in a castle. It's the rust that's bent the stairs so much because there was water. Guys, you just have no idea how huge this fifth power unit is. This whole way we go along the fifth power unit. Sasha, look at the condition. Damn. Cameron, what are you doing? The main bridge in the center of Kiev is in the same condition, only it is not radioactive. Radiation is here. Let's get out of here. Don't breathe it. What? What is it? It's long. I mean, they're gonna... Cambridge. They're gonna die, What's I happening? think. It's about 20 yards long. You have taken several years of our life. A lot of dust has risen. See how it all looks. They don't care. <laughs> I don't even know. What's what is this stuff? It might be radioactive. Where is the dosimeter? There can be a lot of radiation here. Are you afraid to know the level of radiation? Then yes! Then don't get the dosimeter out just yet, or we might panic. Look, there are pipes prepared to steal. It's warmer here. It's always warm near the reactor, so don't worry. There is a sign, look, a mask. Yes, without this mask we won't find a way out of here. Look how frozen everything is. Where does the water come from? How is this possible? Look how beautiful. It's radioactive water. They just touch how everything. How does it feel? Very slippery. Look how it's frozen on the door. Do you like to touch it? Yes, it is pleasant to the touch. Look. Wow. How beautiful. Yes. The wolf is already blushing from the radiation. That's radiation sickness. Is it radiation sickness? What? Really? Your neck is red. It's your fault. You poured radioactive dust on me. Sorry. It's too late to ask for forgiveness. Who will buy medicines for me? And what's in there? Wow. Can we go here? This is, this is, this is really here? insane. We're almost there. This is our entrance. Are these our things? Yes, this is our place. And these are our things. What's with the water? The water is frozen. It's perfectly clear ice. You don't even have to dive. You can see everything through the ice. The ice is perfectly clear. That's where our aquarium is. There was no one here. I thought I would never see this pump again. It wasn't stolen. So they left even all the stalkers stuff on. are afraid to go here because there is radiation here. People rarely come here. Have you seen this ice? Yes. Ice is perfect. Why? Because in water there is no movement. No flow. Camrad, you're crazy. The ice doesn't even crack. Can we go to where we sailed in boats? Just look at this, guys. The ice is very thick. Look, Sasha, the ice is very thick. 
about five inches. We can walk safely, but we keep our distance so as not to fall together. That's what Look they're worried cool. about at this point. Here we will make a hole and here will be our entrance to the water. The ice is like on Baikal, perfectly transparent. Just don't go too far. Don't fall under the water. Follow me, quickly. Stop. Careful. The ice is already starting to crack. Wow. This is so scary. Just look. This is where they were with the inflatable boats. Like on that water, they were like, you know, punching holes in the boats and stuff. Now it's frozen. So they're like, let's just go walk. I mean, we're not going to fall through. But it's just funny to hear him say, this is, you know, a, a area we got to be careful in. Mm -hmm. Not the journey through the radioactive yeah. Dust, metal, ice, and everything else that's <laughs> happening. Exactly. Look at my legs. You just have no idea how slippery this ice is. Look, there's something moving. It's a mutant. It's running away. The hell? What it is? This is oh so my scary. God. I don't want to dive there now. Get it out of there. Carefully, the ice is rolling. It's frozen. What kind of animal is that? There is a barrel at the bottom. Hope we don't fail. It's a mutant. They said it's a mutant. What it is? Listen to this sound. What happened? Ice cracked. Where? Wow. Look what a big crack. Let's get out of here. I'm Ice cracked. I'm just in it's shock. because of you, Vlad. I really am. It's all cracked. Let's get out of here. We're too close to each other. All the ice is cracking. This is no longer a joke. It can be seen from the crack that the thickness of the ice is large. See how cool you can see everything under the ice. What happened? What's there? Behind me. Go we'll find out. You guys are crazy. Camrad, if you're what watching is this, is the ice cracking? Crazy. The sound is terrible. Look at the ice here. Do you see this unusual pattern on the ice? There must be thin ice. It's like ice crystals. Look, there are stalactites on top. Do you want to see too? Do you see something interesting there? Oh. Holly Molly. Let's get wow. out of here. Holy moly. The ice is starting to crack. A little more and we would have fallen. Comrade, be careful. It was a rash decision. It could be dangerous. No. Yes, damn. I was scared. We finally got out of there. Well, guys, we still decided to break through this ice and dive there with scuba gear. We came up with such a system. We have a rope. Here it is. This is a special diving rope with carabiners. Really? Every two minutes. We will pull this rope, and I will submit the answer. Because the brain lives in fresh water for five minutes. In salt water, a record of 20 minutes saved a person. What about radioactive water? There may be yeah. even less in radioactive water, but we hope everything goes well. Tell the audience everything in detail so that they understand that we are professionals, and we can dive into a radioactive nuclear reactor. Perf Look, this is the main regulator. This is the additional one. This supplies oxygen to the mouth. You put it in your mouth and breathe? But it needs to be washed. Okay. Here air is supplied. Now I will show you. Wow, you're going to suffocate from that pressure. And with this, we pumped oxygen for Seuss. I won't suffocate. Here are the number of atmospheres. Our pressure is 125 atmospheres. Can we dive for an what? hour? Yes. And it's too dangerous. Seuss risked using this. Yes. And you? I risk half as much as it's Sus. not 125 but atmospheres. I will swim further no than way. Seuss, I risk five times more. The Probably 125 bar. That's okay. what they have. Yeah. They just, yeah. Mis you know, they mistakenly said atmospheres. Uh, that would be 125 times th or 124 times 33 feet would be how many feet under they would have to be to be 120. Five atmospheres. Um, so, but, but, right? Atmos each atmosphere is 33 feet. It makes no sense. The worst thing is that if something happens under the ice, he will not be able to get out. To keep me from drowning, I have this. Show how it works. It should work. Our system is frozen. <laughs> really? <laughs> Let's take this power plant. Turn it on. This I'll make some tea and we'll heat up your system. Tea There's time. Even a it's tea time. That's right. I also have a wetsuit. 
<coughs> Wetsuit is a dry type. It is dressed with soap. This will be my second skin. On a naked body? So we won't show it. The wetsuit is so small that in order to put it on you need to smear it with soap. It is very dense. Wow, it looks cool. Doesn't feel like rubber at all. Inside it is made like leather. Does this need to be lubricated? This will be my second skin. I understand. You put it on top and fasten it. Cool outfit. I went to change. The main thing is that you do not freeze there. But we'll make hot tea for you now. We have such a power plant. You're gonna Look, freeze. it works. One kilowatt of power. One kilowatt. Yes. Pour water inside. Pour some more. What is the advantage of this power plant? That it shows how much power is consumed and how much time is left. About an hour it can work in such an intensive mode. Does it heat up? Yes, the bubbles are starting to appear. Now we will make tea. Throw two dice. That's a lot. It's green tea. Tea 2003. Oh, healthy. Tea is awesome. Now it's radioactive. It's okay. A radioactive tea is... Won't hurt. What kind of tea will we have? Come on, these two. The most important thing is that you can connect a solar panel here. This is what? for mains charging. Can it be charged? It's just a cup of radioactive tea, but it's green tea, so it's probably takes healthy. healthy. By car? No, it's like antioxidant. A booster. Has the water Diuretic. warmed up? Yes. Add it. We add yummy, what yummy, yummy. One is that? green and the other is pink. This is a very a cool tea, guys. Good. We will make not like very treats. strong tea. Tea is ready. In fact, any consumer can be connected to the power plant. I tried to connect the TV, and it wrote that it would work 20 hours. The kettle is one of the most powerful consumers, and it takes a lot of power. Fine, hot tea, what a thrill, and we also have cookies, and this is all in a nuclear reactor. Beauty. Well, let's try tea. Meanwhile, their Vlad is changing clothes. Our adventures begin. I don't even know, I don't even know what to say. It's just unbelievable. So entertaining. Now he's dumping hot water Begin. and soap. Soap freezes. I mean, how cold is that that the soap is freezing? It, this, they're insane. <laughs> I don't, that's it. Oh, snap. So and offered him help, but he is shy. <laughs> Vlad, I love these guys. They're can awesome. I help you? <laughs> yes. I'm coming. He's probably ready. Are you ready? So he's already dressed. Why is everything wet here? Well done. Did you manage to put on your swimming suit? It's hot. Who Didn't cares? get burned. Why are you wet? And your nose is dirty. Are you warm in this outfit? Why are you barefoot on the ice? Radiation is here. Everything is fine. Did you hide your ears too? Only the mustache remained. Guys, this is a real man. Risking his life for YouTube. In fact, I feel real as warm man. as possible. Holly Molly. Holly moly. Holly What it is? Moly. These moly. are special swimming boots. Because oh. if water gets inside, I will freeze and die. Because your feet are cold. Are you warming Not. yourself? I look like? You look great. Not bad. Class. Guys. Nobody really did this. Seuss dived 10 feet deep. And Vlad wants to swim 500 feet. Even more. To the exit that goes through the corridor. Corridor to the fourth power unit? Yes. How will we communicate underwater? I will pull the rope twice. Mm -hmm. Every 15 seconds. You know, that's actually the first thing they said that makes total sense. <laughs> that is how you communicate when you're ice diving. Besi I mean, I, this is beyond insane. You've never heard me be this quiet during a video. My entire reaction is one word, insane. I really don't understand how they're going to live through this. I don't understand it. Part one. You pulled the rope twice. I pulled twice in response. Yeah, that's if actually... If I don't answer, pull me out of the water. What if you get caught on a rebar? 
This will be the end. That's it. No kidding. It's dangerous. Do you understand this? I understand it. We consulted divers. We just wanted to pay the diver to bring him here. And no one agreed. They said that we are idiots. <laughs> Even a professional diver who works on sunken ships refused. Uh, the risk that something will go wrong is very high. Vlad, this is a risk. And you stay really? here and eat cookies. What you're suggesting. So what? What are you doing? I sealed the hole. Is there a hole? Yes. Holly Molly. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you breaking ice? Do you see how strong the ice is? Whoa, cool. The water has already gone. Don't drop the crowbar. I carried it through the entire reactor. Look how deep it is. The ice is very thick. Let me help. The water is very cold. No. You are doing well. This is teamwork. Well, guys, while Vlad breaks through the ice, put likes. We make content especially for you. Vlad is a hero today. What are your feelings? The suit is leaking a little. But for about 15 minutes, I think I can be underwater. How? The equipment is, is excellent. This? I do not feel the cold. It is very cool. I don't see how that's possible at all. By the way, you need to attach a dosimeter to your arm, because there can be incredibly high radiation. Guys, does anyone here know how to do artificial respiration? To give first aid, if he gets caught on this railing with a rope, we won't be able to get him out. Vlad, come on, won't you dive? Maybe we should not. <laughs> I'm literally the most shocking video. <laughs> Not just in scuba diving. The most this is one of the craziest things I've ever seen. I mean there's so many things I wonder like these guys are uh they are Hardcore is not a, is not the right word. It's freezing. It's radioactive. Uh -huh. It's diving in ice. It's not being certified to scuba dive. It's some kind of scuba gear. I'll call it some kind. Professional. $50, I'm sure it was serviced properly. Uh, yeah, it was yeah. filled with a compressor that you rightfully said, "Look at that thing." And. I just wonder, man. I mean, I'm really wondering right now. I have not looked, guys, but how could they live through this? How could, if this really is radioactive, how could, how do they survive something like this? I, I, yeah. Yeah. Now, I mean, we look, this is, this is an interesting video for us to have been quiet and all watched together, but it is beyond insane, Gus. Yes. And I cannot wait for the next two parts of this video to see what happened wow. to Vlad and to everyone else who was involved. Wow. If by any chance you found this video and you haven't seen part one, I'm going to leave it right here in the middle so you can check it out. Other than that, I hope you enjoy this guys. We love them. Thank you so much for the content. Yeah. We'll wow. see you on the next one. Bye, everybody. Bye.